Good evening, people. I'm doing this video on Thursday so I could come out for Friday. Um, got to do it inside. Um, it's getting pretty cold nowadays. So what I want to tell you is that no matter what, figure out a way to do your exercises. Either you do them outside or inside. So I started improvising and started doing my videos inside in my shed. No matter what, you got to keep working out. So like right now, I don't know if you guys can see that, it's 44 degrees outside. It's supposed to get down to like um, 38 or something or 30, 36 by the morning. But anyways, I'm not, I'm not here to complain about all that stuff. I'm trying to, My channel is trying to send positivity to you guys. I'm just try to show you guys that things can get done no matter where you're at, no matter your situation. If you go to physical therapy or you're not going to physical therapy. I had gone this week, Tuesdays and Thursday. And, uh, and I try to give you guys the videos Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Even if I wasn't doing these videos, like I said, if you ain't working out or anything, you're going to start cramping up. At least this has been my experience. Like I said in my other videos, that other people, other people's stroke is different. They either, you know, their, their recovery time is going to be different. Their mobility is going to be different. And um, what we're going to do here is I'm going to use that um, the bar that I got with my um, resistant band thing. And I weighed it. And it weighs like, like six and a quarter pounds. You know what I mean, I thought it weighed seven. But what we're going to do is um, straight raises with this. And just try to use every kind of tool you got to do whatever you can do. I wasn't going to do this stuff outside. I think I came up with a better plan. I'm going to get some artificial turf, so when the ground's still moist outside, I can roll it out, and I'm going to start doing other, I got other stuff I could do outside with my workouts, but it's so moist outside, the weather's been so unpredictable, and it's cold too, but um, I got to start doing more, I want to get better, I'm telling you, 2022 is going to be, I'm going to make it my year, I got goals I got, I want to, I want to accomplish these goals, like I said, do the little things, and it's going to lead to bigger things. Because if you have goals, that means you're going to work hard to get there, to get to those achievements you want in life. And nobody said this road is going to be easy to go down. There's going to be a lot of bumps. There's going to be a lot of bruises. There's going to be a lot of falls, butts, falling in the butt or whatever. It doesn't matter. You get back up. Be strong, people. And you could do it. So if you guys follow me to the end of my video, I'm not going to fall, I hope. But we're going to throw a little quick prayer in because I just, I put my hands together. And every time I do that, it reminds me that I need to pray. Because you got to believe in more than, there, there's more to this earth than what we believe. There has to be. This just can't be the end. And I don't want it to be the end because this is not the way I pictured when I was younger. When I got older, that I was going to have a stroke. I never seen that in my future. I used to live life like I was like in my 30s still and I'm 55 I'm not young and um no matter what like I want to tell you guys make the most of every day because you're not, you're not promised tomorrow you're not and um just gotta do the best you can people that's all you can do but if you're not putting no effort in don't expect big changes because you're not doing it don't expect you know you could pray and all that stuff, and those miracles could happen. And, you know, that's good. You got to have some kind of beliefs. But you still got to put the work in. And that's just the way it is. Hate to burst you guys' bubble if you guys think you guys are going to wake up tomorrow and get, be cured. Because if there is that way, I would love to learn how that works. I used to think like that. And now I'm just putting the work in now more more time than I ever have because um, it's working and that's the only thing that's been really working on me because I just put in the extra work in like morning like I said I went to physical therapy today today's Thursday which well, actually it's Friday now it's in the morning but put in the extra work in people because it's working so we're going to put our hands together in prayer position
Jesus, please look after me and my family. Look after my dog, PB. Look after everybody that's out there. Watch my videos that are going through whatever recovery they're going through. Jesus, please keep an eye on us all. Thank you for keeping us, an eye on us and help us with our recovery. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And I'm not trying to be religious on you guys. You guys do what you do. I do what I do. Sorry, there ain't no music in the background. I just sort of trying to be finding the right kind of music for the the background and stuff. Right? I just ain't into that right now. I just trying to do my videos in my shed because I want to be able to do anything I can to do these workouts. I don't want to come up tomorrow or Friday and have an excuse why I didn't do it or nothing. Excuses don't excuses are not going to get nothing done. And that's just the way it is, people. So we're going to start off like we always do, do it in circles, okay? But we are going to do some upright rows with that bar. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse. One, one, sorry. Two, three, four, five. We're not going to do it straight up above our heads. We're going to use the bar. We're just going to cut through this real quick. I'm going to make this a short video. I just want to talk a little bit. Holidays are coming up. We got about like, I don't know, less than 10 days, you know, a week and a half until Christmas. And then a week after that's going to be New Year's. Prepare for it. Start setting goals for yourself. Start making, start making the change. Put that effort in. Go a little further. Okay, we're going to go like shorter width apart, roughly. Try to keep that arm, your effective side, straight. One, two, three, four, five, six, oops, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like I said in my videos before, um, do what you can for your grip and your hand, you know. There's just a little bit of water in there. So what I've been doing with this, like I've been telling you guys, that's a reminder too because of all the noise. Because you know when, you, when you're when you walking and you're holding something, you tend to like throw more, more, more strength into it or your plasticity kicks in. But anyways... It's just a reminder that you got something in your hand when you're holding it. You want to start working on all these little things. Look, work on all the little things because these are all going to help you. I know my way of doing doing what I do is not the typical way of doing things. But your everyday movement, you don't do like exercises to do your everyday movement. But those are going to help you to get there. So that's why I imply all these, um, incorporate all these other things I do, like with the water ball. Here's the stress ball. When I'm not on video, making any videos or anything, when I'm on the computer, or I'm just writing stuff down, because I like to write a lot of stuff down. I like to write down my goals and what I'm going to do for the next video. I'm not trying to read a script. I don't have a script. I got, like, I write down little things, like little... You know, PowerPoints and stuff like that, but I can't see it unless I'm really above it, like looking down like that at it. And I just want to tell you guys, you guys put the effort in. And see, when you're doing that stretching like that, you put the effort in, it's going to work. It's going to start coming. It's not going to come overnight, but you will start seeing breakthroughs. And when those, you see those breakthroughs, that's going to give you more encouragement to do more. See what I like about the water bottle. It reminds you that you got something in your hand with the, with the stress ball. You can't do it until it falls down. And I really don't want it to fall down because my dog will go after it. And these stress balls are made out of something that could be poisonous to your animal. So don't use them. Make sure your dog don't get, you know, get a hold of the stress ball. It's not a regular animal toy. It's not an animal approved. Guarantee it. But they don't tell you that. But your dog will chase it like it's a regular ball. So be careful with that. If you have animals or kids, it's not good for the kids either if they get a hold of this. They don't want this in their mouth. 
So you want to do all these other little things that are going to help you, okay? So we're going to do right now, we're going to do some bent over rolls with this, okay? Since we did some straightforward ones. Go a little wider than shoulder width apart. Bend over. I guess I got to get a better angle at this. One, two, three, four. Actually, this goes shoulder width apart. I'm sorry about that. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. What I like about working out of my shed, it keeps me out of all the, all the weather that's outside. Because like I said, it's like 40 something degrees right now. And don't let, don't have all these limitations on what you can and cannot do. Because I made this my little workout station. I made it my little spot where I don't have to be in the house. And I can cook little meals in here if I want to. And just chill out and just do my own thing. And I have a spot where I can take a nap. I got a spot where I can, basically it's my office. And um, it's a doghouse for my dog Peavy. And I do sleep in here once in a while, but this is because I get tired from working out or whatever the case may be. Just older and want to take a nap. And anyways, let's do some toe touches. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I also have a heater in here. I got it kind of set up like, it's set up pretty cool. It's not the best setup, but I have music in here too, but I can't play because of the copyright st strikes. But I do have a little stereo system in here that I crank up whenever I want. It's more loud than I need it to be. And um, I got everything I cut, everything I can work with and stuff. Got a TV in here. But I just want to show you guys, no matter what your situation is, there's ways to work out. There's ways to do stuff. Just use your, your own body parts. Put them together and just do what I do or do whatever you can. And just get that workout in people get that body moving just do it over and over again you got to burn this into your brain to that your body has to move like that again so i'm gonna leave it at that i hope you guys have a good weekend i'll see you guys monday okay stay positive and stay good okay